How to record lectures using PowerPoint. If you don't normally use PowerPoints for your lectures, don't feel like you have to create a 20 plus slide presentation now that we're all online. Keep it simple. You can record a lecture using PowerPoint with as little as one slide. It's just a backdrop for the information you're trying to share with your students. Step one. Okay, I have my notes and I have a PowerPoint ready. Now what do I do? Click on the Slideshow tab in PowerPoint, circled below. Step two, now click on Record Slideshow, circled below. Follow the prompt. Step three, when it loads, you'll see your PowerPoint in the center, your video feed, that's you, in the bottom right corner, and the Record and Stop buttons in the top left corner. See the arrow? Click Record when you're ready to begin. Step four, when you're done recording, click stop or click past the last slide to exit. Step five, to test your recording, click from beginning on the slideshow tab. Everything look and sound good to go? Step six, time to save your lecture as an MP4 file, which is the video type most devices can play and easy to upload in Moodle. Select the MP4 type from the drop down menu, as you see below and then save in your preferred location. It may take a few moments to process. Step seven, time to upload to Moodle. In the class where you want to add the recorded lecture, turn editing on and click on add an activity or resource. Step eight, now scroll down and click on file as the type of resource you want to add and then click the blue add button. Step nine, give it a title and scroll down to attach the file. Drag and drop your MP4 as shown or click to browse and select your MP4 file to upload. Then click save and return to course. From here, click on the file to confirm it uploaded in preview. Step 10. When you click on the file in Moodle, it should load in a new window and start playing. Congratulations. There are a few other features to explore if you're interested, and there are plenty of YouTube tutorials and how-to documents online to help you out. For example, there's a simple way to turn off your camera if you're camera shy, but the best thing to do is to get a short, simple PowerPoint file and play around with the recording feature to get comfortable with it. Good luck, and thanks for watching.